All right, I'm going to call this meeting to order. Um, we have a full house tonight. Um, so, patience. Um, consideration of any changes or additions to the agenda. There is one addition going on to the agenda. Um, it revolves around Mount Holly Rescue. Um, sent a letter in today, um, but we'll go down through the order. Can I add one thing to the agenda? What's up? Just for the radios? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're, we're going to have another meeting. special right. meeting. All right. Um, Thank you. Okay. Within a week. We'll All right. Yeah. We'll wait. I think we're going to have a, a lot yeah. of discussion around this one. All right. So the only addition was the rescue letter. Oh, this is on the website, you know, and it is signed by oh. everybody. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. I thought you did. Okay. Yes. You definitely approved it. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't find it in the files. Okay. It's in there. David found it. Great. Excellent. I was going to tell you that. And I forgot about this. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to go on. <laughs> Review. Um, One last thing. Fiscal year 24 municipal planning grant opportunities. Yes. So... Hi. Uh, I sent an email to the board with some more information uh, regarding Vermont Housing Finance Agency, what their options are, another private consultant, mm -hmm. and what the grant itself really outlines. So the request is that the select board approve us moving forward with applying for the grant for municipal planning yeah. and gathering housing data. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'll make a motion that we move forward for the municipal planning grant. I'll second. The ayes, aye. Aye. <clears throat> it's what comes after, which will probably be a I thought that might help more discussion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, review and or. Excuse me, question on that. Yes. Does that, the planning grant was already approved, right? Am I correct? Right. It is as of tonight. As of tonight. Yes. Okay. Will that necessarily include a, um, a study of the housing? Yes. That will automatically yes. include yes. that. It's okay. a request to apply for. Okay, it will include the housing. It will include the housing study. Okay, right. yes. thank you. Okay, review and or approve <coughs> social services policy. I can just say that you continue yes. to approve the previously approved version. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, we did approve that before earlier. So it was 2020. 2020, December 8th, 2020. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm assuming that most of you are here based on word that got around about the, the rescue. So I'm going to read the letter that was sent to us. Uh, Dear Select Board, Mount Holly Volunteer Rescue Squad in Mount Holly Rescue voted last night to begin the process of the dilution dissolved for both organizations effective 1031. We are working to transfer 100,000 of the town's, the, the funding to the town of Mount Holly this week. Um, we are working with the attorney in the state EMS offices to finalize the, the process. Um, as we gather information from the state office, we will be in touch. Uh, Anna, signed Anna McGee Hansen, President, Mount Holly Volunteer Rescue <coughs> Squad, in court in Mount Holly Rescue. So with that, I've already reached out to the town manager of Ludlow. Um, he will cover. He's reaching out to his board members tonight um, to have that conversation with them to make sure we do not lose coverage within the town. <clears throat> so um, talking with Brandon, he was Pretty sure it's not going to be an issue. Um, I did forward an email too um, that Amy had pulled up from Ludlow Rescue. Um, they currently take care of Proctorsville and Cavendish. Um, they also take care of Plymouth. Um, they do roughly around 850 calls plus a year. Um, they have hired a full-time 
EMS individual for their <coughs> department, and they are currently staffing up, um, especially with the ski season coming. Um, and uh, um, Brendan felt that he doesn't have any issue with serving Mount Holly, and he's willing to come to a next meeting, um, which I wanna have a special meeting before the 31st so we can iron all the details out and um, regional as well will continue the support that they have done in the past with us. Um, so I wanna make sure everybody knows that we're doing everything we can to make sure there is coverage and support for the town um, after the 31st as well during the two week transition. So. Tuesday or the Thursday? I think. So let's plan on Thursday, the 26th at 6.30. We'll hold another special meeting. Um, I will reach out to Brendan and um, he'll bring his staff that he needs from rescue to make sure they have communication with that. Um, also on their website, there is, they do do the donation. Um, it's a $60 donation per person um, with insurance. And if it's an uninsured person, it's 120. So it's kind of the same thing that Mount Holly did with the 40. So that is out there. And there is a website out there that you can go out to that I believe is Ludlow Rescue. It's Ludlow Ambulance Vermont.org slash a belt is where the information is that you can reach out to. Um, and they, for their subscription program, it's Ludlow Ambulance Vermont.org. Um, and this one was slash 2023 dash subscription dash program is out there and we can put that information out as well on the sites um, so that's the only information that i have at this point in time from mount Holly <coughs> yes Liz. i did receive the one hundred thousand dollars cashier's check late this afternoon so that is in the end it will go into the town's fund as of tomorrow mm -hmm. Did you want to uh, read this again to Mr. the Ludwell agreement? Yeah, this was the first initial um, agreement. Um, there's a lot of different stuff. It's um, dispatching. Um, um, and they did uh, do this contract as per Vermont EMS rules. Section three, subsection 3.427, this agreement is entered into this first day of November, um, 2023, between, it would be Mount Holly and Ludlow Ambulance Service. Um, hereafter, Transporter uh, in Mount Holly Fire and Rescue in the town of Mount Holly, um, it said it will cover the calendar year would be the remainder of 23, 24, 25, and 26. Dispatching. As part of this agreement, there will be a written dispatch agreement um, between the two parties. If the transporter should receive an emergency call within the first responder service area, um, the transporter will have the first responder dispatch to the same call as soon as possible should the first responder receive an emergency call within the transporter's service area, the first responder will have the transporter dispatched to the same call as soon as possible. 
patient care. It is agreed by both parties that the first responder oversees patient's care until such time that the transporter arrives. Um, change of patient care can take place um, after the transporter arrives should the first responder initiate advanced care. The first responder may transfer care to the transporter only if the transporter has personnel on board certified at the level qualified to monitor and modify such care. Should the transporter not have such qualified personnel on board, the first responder shall send a provider certified at the appropriate level or higher with the patient, and the provider will remain in charge of the patient care um, until the patient is accepted by the receiving medical facility. When the care of the patient is transferred, transferred the first responder shall provide the transporter with a written record of the patient um, to include, but not to be limited to patient condition, um, chief complaint, history of the patient, illness, injuries, past medical histories, medications, al allergies, physical exams, findings, vital signs, treatments administered, and any changes in the patient's condition. The first responder will retain a copy of this information for their records. Um, the fee for the service, um, as part of the agreement, Community Ambulance Service will provide primary coverage to the town of Mount Holly at the cost of $72 per 911 address, um, which equates to $88,400 based on the 911 addresses provided by the town of Mount Holly, um, which is 1,229 current addresses. Should this number change, um, the town of Mount Holly will be notified, will notify the town of Ludlow to discuss the correct amount. Um, community ambulance um, service will continue to bill patients per their current billing practices in addition to the town contract um, fees um, from the above. Um, the contract cannot be paid in quarterly installments the town of Mount Holly shall have no other expenses beside the expense discussed above. So their, their total cost would equate to 88,400. So that takes up, as I said, 1,229 911 addresses. Um, and the billing is, as we discussed earlier, so I'm pretty sure it's the same as Mount Holly, um, what the insurance pays, uh, the difference between the two would be billed to the patient. Um, and if I believe if it is Medicare, it was, that's the coverage they accepted. Um, but we'll have more information on that when we talk to them and Brendan. Hopefully on the 26th. Um, so I'll reach out to him tomorrow and, and make sure he pencils that date for him and his personnel that's required to be here. Yes, Dennis. So uh, last week, uh, one of the comments was made at the site board meeting that Ludlow primarily goes to uh, Springfield. So can something be written? They don't have to, but we understood that from the last meeting. I believe it's patient choice. So, uh, mm -hmm. so some patients aren't alert enough to tell them where to go. So, so we, they're gonna assume to go to Rutland in Mount Holly? I hope it's closer. I, I believe they're supposed to go, depending on the severity of the patient, the closest medical closest. facility. It's, it's Rutland. So for us, it would be Rutland. Um, but we'll, we will go through all of that when we have them on board. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just, I didn't know this exactly was happening, and so I'm a little shocked and, you know, saddened by it as a past EMT on Mount Holly Rescue. And I just think it's really important that people recognize how much hard work goes into it. Yeah. Absolutely. And that none of this is anybody's fault, and the people who are down there, I'm sure, are incredibly sad and losing a family and losing all sorts of things. I, I totally agree. And we should honor that somehow and celebrate that somehow and thank them. You know, it's that's a, not easy. It, it's 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 a tough position. 
Um, Mount Holly is not the only one going through oh, this currently. Yeah. Um, I've talked to individuals in leadership from Poultney. Poultney is having the exact same trauma issues that we are currently have. Um, unfortunately, volunteer rescue squads are tough positions to fill. Um, people don't want that responsibility. Okay, but, and I'm not taking anything away from Mount Holly. You know, they've done a great job for, for many years. Um, they just chose at this point in time to dissolve the rescue. No, I understand that. I just hope that we're mm -hmm. recognizing their hard work and honoring that somehow. Oh, absolutely. Wow, but. <coughs> Certainly there's a lot of training that goes into that job. Absolutely. It's a lot of, and, and you it's know. It's all they, volunteer. They work as well. I truly get that. Any other questions, concerns? Quiet for the group. John? Do you think you might be signing the contract at the next meeting? Should it go well? Or... There, are, there are questions. There, there, there is questions, but regardless, John, I would say yes, because we cannot leave the town. We cannot leave the town um, in jeopardy of not having rescue coverage. Um, granted, they, they would still cover it under mutual aid and so forth, but um, we need to we need to respond and act quickly on this because God forbid, you know, somebody gets hurt and, and really needs serious attention um, would not be good. Yes. Um, why is the president, since she was the one that sent the letter out why is she not here tonight to answer questions? I can't answer that. Um, we can request that they come to the next meeting on the 26th so we can have, you know, some closure, some clarity on it. Okay, because she ran out of the last meeting and there were questions unanswered. And that doesn't leave a very good mm -hmm. impression for the town. <clears throat> yeah, we can we can reach out and you know ask that they come to the next meeting. Thank you. As vice president, may I speak? Absolutely. I'm here representing rescue. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer. So is there any questions that uh, you want to forward towards rescue? I can't answer that. Anna, Anna's home with a sick child. So that's, she's had to have him at Boston this week. And that's a good enough reason. So is there any questions you want to forward? I don't yes. have a question, but I do want to thank you guys for everything that you've done. I know Vicki, Denise, you guys have done an amazing job for our community. Kelly, mm -hmm. um, I thank you guys. It's really sad. We just, we've tried. It's we've just, tried. We've tried for years. You know, it's not an easy job, and especially nope. with, you know, jobs and children. Absolutely. And I believe, as we've been told before, we have, we've been a dinosaur, but we realize we're extinct now. So. <laughs> <laughs> they have done a wonderful job. Absolutely. Uh, through the years. I know Vicki, Denise, Kelly, Rhonda. I saw Rhonda. Rhonda. So there's been many through the years that have done a wonderful job. It just seems like all of a sudden, and I think that we need to know what happened to why people aren't volunteering for the reason. 
I wish I could answer that, but that's probably a million dollar question why people are not volunteering for a lot of the volunteer services. It's just not happening out there. So, yep. I think it's happening all over the state. It, I don't it's, think there's it's happening all over the country. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's hard to get volunteers. It's hard to get people to work. So, yeah. like volunteer people organiz to work for nothing. Yeah, volunteer organizations <laughs> are struggling, are really struggling for headcount, and it's not just Mount Holly. Like I said, I was talking to some officials from Poultney, and they're in the yeah. same boat. Yeah. Um, they're struggling, and it's a lot of small towns throughout Vermont that are in the same boat with volunteer organizations, you know, and again, <clears throat> kudos to the town of Mount Holly Rescue. Um, they have done a phenomenal job for many, many years. And I believe the last number I heard, you only had six volunteers for the department and well, they- Over 150 calls trying. Mm -hmm. uh, and the two that were here at the last meeting the ones calling most of the days live. Yep. Yep. And, and it's tough. Children at home and working full time. Yep. You know, Mark? Yes, Bob. So, you know, I asked why people won't volunteer. I just thinking back. And, uh, I joined the fire service in, 19, in the 80s. It took 45 hours to do a course to become mm -hmm. a qualified firefighter. We have mm -hmm. how many guys right now? Chief? In the class, three, three guys in the class going to take seven months. Two nights, two nights a week, and, week and Saturdays. Yeah, so there's there's your answer. Right? That's the commitment you well, have to make now. <laughs> the states <laughs> have really, yeah, the states have really twisted. You guys don't have to be certified. I have to have every two years over 60 hours to keep my yep. certification right. wow. as a volunteer. Wow. Yep. So. There's your answer. They make it difficult. Yeah. I, I agree. You know, <laughs> you know, if you're trying to run your life and work and have a family, and then they expect you to put those hours in. Yep. So no, it's tough. It's very difficult. Um, you know, I was on the fire department for for a long time too, and it's between juggling my job and my family, it was it was tough. So I had to step back and reprioritize myself as a volunteer. So I do know that. Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to point out to everybody that one of the things in what Mark read talks about a first response squad, about first responders. And I will apologize up front, I kind of get emotional. If you want to recognize, and I go back to Charlene Cole, Milt Valger, Miles Richards, all those guys all the way up through. If you want to really <clears throat> acknowledge the hard work that everybody, Pat Keeter, Ike Eisenhower, put into the volunteer service, there's a simple way to do it. Support the first response side of this. We need an active first response service in Mount Holly. The difference is, <clears throat> A lot less training, because all you are doing is holding down the fort until the transport service gets there. It's 20 minutes to a half an hour commitment time instead of two to three or four hour commitment time. It, it, again, it's a huge, a lot less training. It, it is things like, if you've got a bad back, you can help out on the first response squad, whereas there's no way you're going to be muscling a stretcher. Ludlow's going to take care of that. You can help out with the first response squad. The first response squad is going to be le going to need leadership. You don't even have to be an active responding member to help run a first response squad. You simply need to know about business management. There's a lot that can be done in this town to recognize and acknowledge all of the volunteer time that everybody has put in to keep the, you know, the squad going for as long as they did. And Vicki was, for the record, she was quoting me on something that I've said for a lot of years, that volunteer transport services are a dinosaur 
that don't know they're extinct. <laughs> and that is statewide, that is countrywide, that is not Mount Holly. Um, we need that first response service there. You can respond straight from home to the scene. When Ludlow shows up, you turn the patient over and you're back home. And where are you gonna get the training to maintain medical stability until Ludlow gets there? It's a lot the less hours. I, and again, I am, I'm about 12 years out from being active in EMS. So I do not begin to say- no, it's just a I simple question. It. We just explain the man hours that go into it. Vicky, you know what the matter, current- It's not just a matter, sir, of random people showing up to help out. I know. It's, it's really not. People are gonna have to volunteer to go take classes to get certified. Yeah. But what's, do you know what the lowest response. level is now for first responders? Beaver. Is what? Beaver. And how many, how many hours? 16. 16 hours. How many, is in, how many hours for an EMT? That's still in like the 40s. No, there's no. It's, 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 it's about 60 hours. It's for initial. 80 hours? Versus 16. Hours. Yeah. But the VFER is less than what an ECA used to be. I know. But it's what's designed for first response clause. Yeah, but they can't. They can't. They, they, I don't even think they can lift the stretcher. No. Uh, no, they can't because we. The, op the option is no first response. The but my question what's is, if we can't get volunteers now, what's going to make you think we can go get take have people take a 16-hour course? We can hope. The alternative, we hope, we can't even the alternative is waiting for Ludlow Ambulance to show up. And in the meantime, when we wait for Ludlow and we try to get volunteers from around the town, they're gambling with people's lives, is what's well, happening here. Wait for Ludlow Ambulance then. We've tried the volunteers from Mount Holly, it's not working. So, I, I don't want to beat up Mount Holly. I don't want to beat up anybody in the volunteer um, because it is tough um, for the volunteers because, again, they give up a lot of time from their family, from their children, and from their everyday lives to be trained. So, yes. Can I just clarify, because it's a little hard to hear from the back. Yep. Vicki, did you say it was a, a 80 hours for an EMT certification? Initial. 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 Yes. That's not including the recertifications every two years. Every two years for a recertification for EMT is 48. Okay. And for, for the first responder, it's 16? It's at roughly 16 to 20. I think Russ said he took the Beaver class. Okay. So. Love them. You're saying, sir, that you're not, you're still not going to get volunteers. Well, if it's about a quarter of the amount of training, we at least have a chance of getting we're, volunteers. We're taking names now if you'd like to sign up. The problem is nobody's signing up now. Where is that information for people? Call the to rescue sign up department, call the fire department. The, 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 so, the this is the first time, I'm sorry, but that's the so, first time I've heard of this, but I just want to say something. Yes. I was on Mount Holly Rescue. You're looking to volunteer somewhere. Call them and get an application. Oh. I was on Mount Holly Rescue for a couple of years. Thank you for your service. And you're welcome. But I never got any further than a first responder. But as a first responder, with the mentors that I had, I can't tell you how grateful I was to have Vicki and Denise as my mentors. But I actually went to a couple calls on my own as a first responder. And you get there and you can take the person's blood pressure, you can make sure they're comfortable, you can get their name, you can get all that information that the, that the ambulance service takes the time to get, but you've already got it. So when you get there, you just kind of hand that off. That's about, that's about the most that I could possibly do, right? Or can't take blood pressure. Oh, oh really? No. no. So what does that stand for? Emergency first aid oh. squad or something. First oh, okay. See, I've never heard of that. So yeah, there's there, there's certain something things. New. There's yeah. certain things you can do. I was on a first response team too. Yeah. Uh, you know, you there's that. certain things that you can do. Yeah. Yes. Seems as if that would be good information to get sent out in the news. Thank you. Absolutely. So, I, I would reach out if if the volunteer fire department is looking for. First responder type folks. No. We would be happy to That's put that information out. That. Yeah, I don't know right now. I mean, I, I'm not going to say yes or no. Mm -hmm. um, I know that we've tried. We've run calls with EMS as well to try to help. Mm -hmm. 
taking some of the slack. And then we've run a few calls. I've been on a couple of calls where I've had to do CPR to somebody. Yep. I got trained in CPR. I think it was, was it Sue. Sue that came up and taught us. Thank God she did. Yep. But, She's willing to do it again. Yeah. And we've, and we've tried to do a weekend. Um, but trying to say right now that I want to take on a first responders role. I like to fight off more than I can chew, I think. And, and I think I might end up pushing some of the guys in the department out because now I'm asking them to, to do more on top of what I'm already trying to ask them to do. And I hate to say that, but it's just it's being honest. Um, you know, it's hard to get guys to come do the training we're doing now. I'm sure it's the same thing with you guys. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't want to go sit at the table and say, well, I just asked you to take you know, these guys, mm -hmm. these three guys are taking classes now. It's going to take months and months and months until, what, April, they're done. Yep. And then look at them and say, well, now I want you to take a 16-hour class. I'm probably going to get told where to stick it pretty quick. <laughs> um, we will, we'll, we'll continue to do a weekend on our end in the yep. fire department. Yep. If, if I wouldn't expect anything less. I know there's a few of us here that uh, we hear something come across and it's not getting yep. picked up and we feel comfortable enough that maybe we can go help. We, okay. I'll, I'll usually call state dispatcher. I'll make a call myself and say, hey, let's roll the truck. All of us are certified in CPR, and at least we can, we're there to, to, to offer something until somebody comes. And that's all I can offer in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But as Fair far as enough. doing a whole blowing out <laughs> first responders, at this point, I'm going to say no. So. Yes. There was a few times this year I had called 911, Ludlow responded, and I'll tell you, they got here in about five, five or six minutes. So don't downplay mm -hmm. their traveling time because they were very good. Yeah. Yes. Also, I remember the time it's been taking Ludlow to get here is delayed because we're giving, we're giving Mount Holly the time to respond. Then they call them. Yeah, what is it? Say? They, 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 well, they won't run on them out of neutral the clock the second call or right. request a line officer on scene. It yeah. will be quicker now because yeah. it'd be automatically to them. And yeah. now Holly didn't respond. They called Ludlow. That's eight miles from my house. And they took my husband right to Rowan. There was no bullshit about this. They went, took him right in. And the response time from left from when they got. The, the call and they came, it was, it was less than 10 minutes. So I don't agree with what he's saying. So, okay, um, that's all the information I have at this point in time with, with, with Mount Holly Rescue. Again, we're gonna have a special meeting on the 26th. I wanna make sure I can get the Ludlow team here with the town manager so we can go through the details. Um, of what they offer and how they respond, make sure we get the hospitals correct and so forth. Yes, Christine. Will it be here, the meeting? I might put it into the town garage um, because, or the school, um, only because I'm a little surprised with um, the participation in the meeting tonight, um, I didn't expect the news to get out that fast, but I'm glad to see the town folks involved and truly being concerned. So, Would you like to keep the 21st on the schedule or move it up to the 26th? I would move it to the 26th. Okay. So take um, off the 26th. I would take the 21st off of the special meeting that we we're going to have strictly for rescue and put it to... Okay. The 26th. So we did um, get, um, the school is available on the 21st, so we might be able to just switch it mm -hmm. to be this month if they have availability because they have chairs 26th, and yeah. internet. Yeah, and, and we can do that. Yeah, okay. see if the school is available. Okay. Okay. School for the 26th. School for the 26th at 630. That's, Carol's got it. that's the intent. Um, so with that, um, this meeting is Can adjourned. Can I ask a really quick question? I promise. Okay. Yes, Kelly. It, will there be a conversation about the people who are currently on rescue forming that first response team? It doesn't have to be fire, correct? I mean, it can be it any, can be. It any absolutely volunteer can people be. who are willing to do it I, and what I it do, might look like. I do not want to take anything off the table that can save people's lives. You know, if, if, if we can come up and have a first response 
team, I think that is a great thing if people are willing to do that. It'd be a great compliment for our yes. town. Yes. Anything else? Again, thank you for coming out tonight. Um, I'm glad to see the volume of people and the concern that everybody has. Um, with that, meeting is adjourned, and thank you.